I'm introducing a slosh tube. Uh, first of all, an explanation of what this is. This is just a three inch piece of PVC pipe with a PVC cap on both ends and half filled with water. Um, how you make these, all you have to do is go to Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards for any Midwestern people in here, Dixie Line for San Diego people. Um, you can just get a piece of PVC, put a cap on the end, glue it on the ends. Um, I just use hot glue on the ends or epoxy, one of the two. Uh, fill the tube half full of water. That's an important part of this. Then once it's half full of water, you cap and glue the other ends. So you end up with this three inch pipe, weighs about 33 pounds. And the idea behind it is, as you hold the, the slosh tube parallel to the ground, the water inside will slosh back and forth, which requires a constant adjustment to try to hold it parallel to the ground. Um, I originally used this as an exercise tool when my wife Shelly and I were really into trail running. We were uh, training for running ultra marathons. Trail running requires a lot of dynamic movement, a lot of core body strength. Um, and if you're doing that, if you're trying to get that sort of workout with, uh, with something besides trail running, it took a lot of effort to figure out what exercises we could do. And it figures out that you can save a lot of time and effort using a slosh tube. Now during the pandemic, it's a great tool to use at home. They only cost probably about 10 to $12 to buy the stuff. Uh, so it's a really cheap piece of exercise equipment. And aside from the fact that it's a little bit unwieldy to store because it's you know eight feet long, uh, it's a pretty versatile exercise. So let's go through some of the exercises. Um, really, you can use your imagination for it for uh, coming up with different exercises. But the general idea is uh, you always wanna to try to hold it parallel to the ground and you can hold it in different positions. Uh, you can hold it like this. You can hold it up here. You can hold it with your elbows away from your body. You can hold it over your head. You can even put it on your shoulder like this. Um, and the general idea is as you go through exercises, that sloshing water in the tube We'll wait one side, so you have to make constant adjustments, try to keep it balanced. And that process of balancing, that works all of your stabilizing muscles around your body. So, some of the exercises. Uh, the most basic exercise you could do is just hold it and try to hold it in place like this. And you're trying to find that balance point. It's a little bit of a sort of like a static exercise with a weird dynamic component added into it. And you can do different grips with that. You can hold it up here, try to hold it parallel. But this gets boring after a while. Um, one of the things you can do is hold it and just walk with it. We used to walk up and down hills doing this, uh, find a mountain trail somewhere, try to navigate the trail, you know, avoiding all the rocks and stuff. That was one of the exercises. And as you're walking, you can hold it in different positions to work slightly different muscle groups. You can hold it there, you can hold it here, and you get different types of exercises uh, or different types of movements with that. Um, using the walking thing, you can do something like walking lunges, like that. Uh, you could even do air squats. I guess it wouldn't technically be an air squat. If you're really courageous, you can do Squat jumps. That's really hard. And you can add a dynamic component to that. Like that. Um, you can use it for some traditional lifts, like curls, bicep curls. You could do tricep exercises with it. And the whole while, as that water's sloshing back and forth, it's really working your core muscles. That's one of the great things about the slosh tube. Um, if you get really crazy, you can even do some of the, uh, whew, cardio, <laughs> yeah. cardio's a little lacking. Um, you can do some, what are yeah, basically like Olympic lifts. Um, so if the squat tube on the ground, 
you know, you can do like a clean and press kind of thing. Um, you can just do overhead squats. We typically do most of these exercises, three sets of 10, five sets of 10, you know, just typical uh, things like that. If you really want to get uh, crazy, now, I haven't tried this in probably 10 years. It's a stupid exercise, but it's effective. Um, you do a... Uh, <laughs> Slosh two burpees. Slosh two burpees. <sighs> So, those are some of the exercises that you can do with the slosh tube. Um, your imagination is the limit. Uh, if anybody has any ideas for exercises you can do, feel free to post them on Chilla's comments. This is one of the other exercises uh, that you can do. This was really, really useful for trail running. Um, not only do you have the instability of the slosh tube, but you also have the instability of the Bosu ball that I'm standing on. And the slosh tube, the constant weight shifting doesn't allow you to really find that sweet spot on the BOSU ball. Um, so that's another exercise you can do. I just tried this. I couldn't do it, but if you get to the graduate level of slosh tube in this, you, know, you get an exercise ball, um, balance on your knees, and then manipulate the, uh, um, the slosh tube that way. That both of these are really, really dynamic exercises that can be very useful. Okay, so the slosh tube, thank you, Jason, for the wonderful presentation and the history behind it. I love the idea, so now I'm gonna give it a try. I'm sure I'm gonna rock it. No, I won't. I won't, but you know what? You have to be brave and I wanna inspire you to do risky things oh yeah oh my god it's slashing and i know it's called slash too so just to balance it out oh my just to balance it is out. okay let's do some curls but i don't know if i can do curls hold on how do you put it in the middle why is it not staying in the middle yeah that's the tricky part that's what the what the duct tape marks are on it the oh my gosh, one in the center the, and even if the duct tape is one is not listening to me and i can't keep it how did you keep it in the middle? You just want to, okay, curls. I can't do curls. This water is not staying in the middle. Okay, should I just literally hold it? Yeah, you can just do a static exercise with it and just oh. hold it there. That's a good workup. You're right, well, just hold one it. One of the tricks is getting a feel for where that, like how to keep that water centered. <laughs> well, exactly. So it's, it's very feel oriented. <laughs> I feel that. Oh my gosh, I'm really feeling in my core. It's crazy. Okay, try do this. Let's do some better presses. Maybe I'm better with that. It took probably about three weeks before I could actually do these exercises oh without falling God. over. I'm so glad to do that. I'm so glad. And then just walking around. Yeah, even just the walking. And then walking. Okay, I'm done. Good. <laughs> I'm so done. <laughs> Thank you. You guys should buy this and show us what you got and what you can do with it because I really suck at it. But luckily, Jason showed us that. You can do more than you think, but you heard him. It takes a few weeks, so don't have high hopes for starting. Now, Jason, they can buy different size of Yeah, and I forgot to address that. That's a three inch pipe. Um, you can go with a two inch. I've tried one inch, but it's a little too thin. Okay. Um, or four inch. I, I think they also make a six inch, but that would be crazy heavy. Okay, and then uh, how much water? Do they have, they have to do the math? To yeah, I don't one? remember. And you can, there's different ways you can do it. Um, some people have, will just visualize, like they'll try to see where the water is. Okay. 
Um, yeah. Th roughly top. halfway up. Okay. Um, sometimes you could do it by tapping on it. You can tell where the water level is have at. Have you ever tried sand? I have. The problem with sand is it doesn't flow side to side okay. nearly as easily. Okay. Um, so it's much, much easier to balance. It weighs a little bit more, but it's easy to balance. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Best Bit W7. Thanks, Jason.